Whether they're telling the masses about an upcoming concert, impressing potential employers with a memorable business card, or differentiating diet from regular, designers have something that they are trying to tell you. Design is all about communicating that message visually, but how did visual communication get its start? and why. Everything has to start somewhere. And when it comes to writing a visual communication, we think they got their start in the Lascaux Caves of Southern France. That's right, caves. You thought this show was gonna be all about posters and logos? No, caves. These caves are covered in pictographs. So what is a pictograph? A pictograph is a picture depicting a word or phrase. So for instance, in this cave, this pictograph of a horse means that this represents a horse. The bull is a bull. I mean, it really isn't that difficult. They're believed to be the work of early Africans and Europeans who might have used them for rituals, but the exact intent is unknown. Even though the exact message and intent has been lost with time, we know that the people who made these cave paintings were wanting to convey something. Maybe it would have been better if they had a formal writing system, something like cuneiform, for example. A Sumerian invention, cuneiform began as simple pictographs, like the ones we saw in the Lascaux Caves. Later, ideographs were introduced. What's an ideograph? Ideographs are symbols that convey complex ideas and concepts that don't have an actual physical representation. For example, when I write, I heart my dog, this heart represents love. Words like light, good, happy, sad, they all needed ways to be written down. One of the final developments that cuneiform saw was a phonetic development, which used symbols to represent sounds. That sounds pretty familiar. Cuneiform allowed scholars to record their research in subjects like math, science, astrology, history, politics, religion, and the list goes on and on. Libraries began to spring up and that knowledge was shared and developed. One of the most important things recorded was the law, such as the Code of Hammurabi. With a written law, the code of conduct for the land was set in stone and enabled society to stabilize. So how does this relate to design today? The beginning of visual communication marks the start of graphic design. Pictographs and ideographs are used by designers all the time, and really, there's little to differentiate something like this from this other than time and their intended purpose. And of course, written language is a building block of typography. Without written alphabets, there would be no need to develop movable type, no universe Garamond or Helvetica, and no Comic Sans or Papyrus. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe to never miss a video. And if you have any questions or thoughts about the humble beginnings of graphic design, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, see you later!